Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Welcome to this lesson on basic Travis picking. Now, Travis picking gets its name from the great Merle Travis, a country guitar picker, and his picking style was subsequently stolen by anyone who played fingerstyle acoustic guitar. It sounds really cool and it's a great technique to learn. Now, it's basically a little bit more complicated version of the thumb moving around that we've looked at previously, but in order to help your development overall as well, we're now going to be applying this to some bar chords to really make sure that you've got your bar chords good as well. So let's get to a close-up. We're going to be using a C A-shape bar chord, which is this one here. You're going to see it in a close-up in a second. I'm going to show you a close-up first of all of the fretting hand, and then we'll go to the close-up of the picking hand and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, here we are for our C chord. Now, this is, of course, an A-shaped bar chord uh, with the first finger on the root note C at the third fret. You don't tuck your second finger like that. I'm just doing it to keep things nice and simple for you to see. Um, now, what we want to get used to the idea of here is the first finger moving between the note C and the note G. The pattern we're learning is this. So just get used to the idea of this first finger moving. Let's check out the picking hand. The big deal with this Travis picking is the movement of the thumb. And instead of just alternating between two strings that we've had before when we looked at our pattern, our thumb is now going to go fifth string, fourth string, sixth string, fourth string. Which is why we had a look at the first finger moving over between the fifth string and the sixth string. Remember, don't use a bar, move your first finger. So the first thing pattern that we're going to look at is basically our very simple pattern one. That was the original one. But now we're going to be going Again, you're going to have to probably do this very slowly. I really struggled the first time I learned this, so I'd expect you guys to at least have a bit of fun with it. Really slowly, together, thumb, one, thumb on the thickest string, second finger, thumb back on the fourth string. really struggling to hold your bar chord down, your C bar chord, just use a regular open A chord. You will get the, the kind of the bottom two strings ringing out a little bit, which sounds a bit funny to my ear, but at, at least you can kind of get used to the thumb movement there. That's what's really important is getting this. You know, just practicing that is a really good idea for this kind of pattern. the other fingers. So that's pattern 13. Pattern 14, exactly like our pattern 2, but with this new Travis picking. And of course you would then start to merge 13 and 14 together. Sometimes these guys have a little bit of kind of mute on there as well. So you get that, you know, I'm just resting the, the in the palm of my hand there. Okay, pattern 15 and 16 we're on to now are using a G bar chord, an E-shaped bar chord at the third fret. Hopefully you know how to play that. Now all of the sixth string root patterns we've checked out so far had the thumb bouncing between the sixth string and the fourth string. Yeah? Now, what we're doing for our Travis picking is we're going sixth string, four, five, four, six, four, five, four. So that's where it's starting to get a bit more complicated.
again, you're going to have to just do these really slowly. It's still the same pattern with the rest of the fingers as we've been looking at, same as pattern one for the C chord or pattern three for the G chord would have been this having the second finger on the beat and then the first finger on the after, the end after two and then the back to that finger, that pattern. That was the original pattern we would have had on the G. Then just try and break out that first, the thumb, sorry, into moving over to the fifth string. I would highly recommend doing what I'm doing now, just doing six, four, five, four, and just doing that quite a few times to get the thumb used to moving onto the fifth string. And then introduce those other notes. Again, really slowly and gradually build up the speed is what you want. Now, pattern 16, exactly the same as our pattern four was originally. There's pattern four. Um, and 16, now we're just, again, moving it onto our Travis picking. I'm sure you're going to have a whole lot of fun with your Travis picking. It is a little bit tricky and it takes a little bit of practice, but nearly all of the things that sound really cool require quite a bit of practice, and this is one of them. Um, I'm going to show you a really cool little country trick as well that I think you might enjoy. Um, I was really stoked when I discovered this thing. Now, uh, hopefully you remember your C7 open chord, right? If you move that C chord up two frets, you're on a D chord. Now, if we use pattern two, what I'm doing is moving my third finger over to the sixth string. Fifth string, sixth string. Sounds pretty cool. Now, you can do it with a blues using D, G. Back to D. kind of develop this idea quite a lot. Hope you have fun with that. Take care and I'll see you for the last lesson in this series, which is adding in hammer-ons and flick-offs to our patterns, which is kind of tricky enough already. And now we're going to be introducing some new stuff. So uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that too. See you very soon. Bye-bye.